Hello all, this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu. I am uh, an anesthesiologist and this video is about uh, the propofol. That is a drug that we use and many people would have heard about the drug and it's coming into news nowadays because of a lot of issues that have been happening in uh, India and other countries. So in this video, I would like to discuss something about propofol that you should know. So propofol is an anesthetic drug which is used to induce the patient. Induction means first we take the patients to a certain depth of anesthesia where you don't have any kind of pain or memory or any state. That's a different discussion but propofol is used to induce the patient. Later on we maintain the anesthesia with several other drugs. In some patients we even use propofol for maintaining the patient's anesthesia. So this video is about why actually problems are happening with propofol. I'll tell you in a simple way. Uh, propofol is a drug which is very lipophilic. So it can't be given directly like that. So what uh, the scientists did is they dissolved propofol in an oil medium, which is usually made of egg lecithin and soybean oil. So it makes the uh, injecting job easy, but it also comes with some, some kind of problems like um, the lipid medium uh, can attract bacterial growth. So what happens is, if there is some kind of contamination in that particular uh, vial of propofol, there is always a, a risk of uh, bacteria growing in that. So this was actually uh, identified in 1990 to 1993. Actually propofol was discovered in 1989. So 1990 to 93, there are a series of bacterial infections happening. Then scientists have come up with a solution for that. What they did is they added a chemical called as disodium editate into propofol so that the bacterial growth is suppressed. Since then, there have been no major events of uh, bacterial contamination and we haven't seen major uh, uh, complications or deaths happening secondary to that particular thing. And the other complications that propofol can cause are uh, called as a propofol infusion syndrome, which happens when you actually give propofol in very high doses. So for propofol infusion syndrome to happen, you need to give loads of propofol for long durations of time. That usually happens in intensive cares where run propofol as infusions. So that is another complication. So even for that uh, to happen, it is not very common. It's a very uh, rare phenomenon for the propofol, which is called as allergic uh, reaction. Since it contains egg lecithin, there is always a possibility that people are allergic to to eggs can have an allergy reaction to propofol but I've gone through the literature it is saying that they have actually removed the allergens in the formulation by a process and uh, because of that the allergy reactions have come down even with egg allergy you uh, can still give propofol even that study I'll put it in the description you can go through so these are some of the complications uh, which propofol can lead to I am going to tell you as a consultant anesthesiologist is with my experience with propofol and why I use it so basically why I use is, I'm a neuroanesthesiologist and I do a lot of neuromonitoring. So to do neuromonitoring, you need a drug which acts faster and gets eliminated faster. So that is a prerequisite for neuromonitoring. So propofol is the only drug which meets the requirements. So that is why all the neuroanesthesia cases will be done with propofol. And also in my personal experience, I have uh, not encountered any allergic reactions or any kind of serious disasters with the usage of propofol or I haven't even noticed any bacterial infections happening in my decade or decade plus years of experience with propofol. That is another thing I want to tell you and not only my experience, uh, there is a study, I'll put the link in the description which is done and uh, in that particular study they have found that over a period of 10 to 15 years they collected uh, data in uh, USA and they, what they found is there are 30, nearly 30 deaths in uh, pediatric age group and 60 plus deaths in adult age group. So for you who is listening to this, you might think, oh, 60 plus deaths are happening secondary to propofol and why are these guys still using the drug? So I'll tell you, these 60 deaths happened over a million, million times or maybe a billion times of propofol administration in patients. So if you actually calculate the uh, incidence of the complication, the denominator would be millions and billions if you keep, it will be 0.000001 or something. And that kind of risk you will have even if you walk on the road. Even if you walk on the road, there is a possibility of some vehicle coming and hitting you. So that is the kind of risk that you have when uh, you are undergoing anesthesia with propofol. So according to my experience, I feel that it's a safe drug. Because I have seriously, uh, personally not encountered major issues with propofol. But according to literature, there are certain oh, complications. Uh, so, uh, why I am doing this particular video is, 
uh, I don't want to uh, get the details of what happened in India and other places uh, with propofol but just for you to understand that this is not a totally unsafe drug and uh, so but every drug will have some kind of complications and one more thing I would like to tell you any drug uh, what is being used in the medical practice will uh, be used after uh, attaining some kind of evidence that is called a levels of evidence so level 1 evidence drug means that the, the benefits that, that the drug is giving are far exceeding that the complications which are produced by the drug so we use it it doesn't mean that it's devoid of complications so you have to understand that so any drug the most safest of the safest drugs you know are level 1 are the benefits are exceeding the complications doesn't mean the complications are not existing so you have to understand that so in that way i feel i am uh, confident using propofol but there are certain precautions you need to be taken which uh, any experienced anesthesiologist will be taking those things and uh, so that's about this thank you very much for following the video hope you like it